Every October for the last 11 years, the Chew Valley has been home to a host of brightly coloured scarecrows. It's called Harvey's Scarecrow Trail, and it's named after a very special little boy, Harvey Hext. My name's Sarah Hext and I founded the Harvey Hext Trust in 2016 after we lost our son Harvey to cancer and um, I just found that there wasn't a great deal of support for children that had lost a brother or a sister so that's why we founded the charity. So tell me a bit about Harvey. Harvey, so Harvey um, was an identical twin with his brother Spencer. Harvey was the most joyful little boy. He was full of personality, took everything in his stride and just loved everybody and everything that he did and he just had an amazing zest for life. He was diagnosed with cancer when he was four and we lost him when he was nine years old. So he had neuroblastoma. It was a horrible, horrible time and you know, you're dealing with all your own emotions and then watching your children suffer as well is really hard. So the Harvey Hex Trust was born from our experience of a lack of bereavement support for children. When Harvey was poorly, there was um, a possible need to take him abroad for treatment and we needed to raise a lot of money for this treatment and um, he was at school he had a lovely friend called Freya who decided that she'd like to put on a scarecrow trail with her mum um, and that was 11 years ago and <laughs> we've, we've had 11 trails now. I feel quite emotional about the Chew Valley, um, you know, when, when we needed to raise funds for Harvey, people raised funds and they were here and um, and the, and the support has continued since then with the Scarecrows and with various other events that people have held, you know, to support the charity. I'm involved with um, Valley Arts, which are a community-based charity that provide theatre and live entertainments across the valley. Um, and we've decided to enter this year as we have Hansel and Gretel coming up in the autumn. Uh -huh. So it's in keeping with the theme of um, Once Upon a Time this year, so we decided we're going to try to make the house. Oh, so this is going to be the house, yes, and all like these that. are going to be bits and pieces that are going to go into it. Yes, yes. Oh, we're wonderful. Lots of candy, lots of gingerbread. Oh, men. marvellous. We, we never imagined how successful it would be, and every year, you know, it comes to scarecrow times and we think, will, will people get involved? Will they do them again? And at the last minute, everything just comes together. We never knew Harvey. We moved to the village, um, yes, before he was in the school. But um, we, when we came here and we saw these scarecrows, it was such an awesome thing for the kids mm -hmm. to get involved in. And it was really They just loved it the first year because we didn't really have any idea. People travel from all over, you know, to get involved with it. Cool. And I just think there's not a lot you can do free with a family yeah. nowadays. I think the scarecrows just bring fun to the valley. Um, and it's something, you know, that families can do together over the summer or dads quite often do them with their children. And it's, it's just fun. And, you know, October's a bit of a drab month. It's getting dark and... It's just something to look forward to. And then we have the half term as well, where families can come and visit. It's, it's four pounds for a map, you know, so four pounds for a day out for a family is pretty good. Maybe we just finished off the witch. So, hey up top, a little bit of dress here. I made it a bit too big, I'm going to make it a head at the moment so we can get a witch's head on it, witch's hat, and then look to it. Try and hang it somehow, maybe above the window, yeah. above the rest of the And scene. you've already got the other bits down on the window already. That's Just... it, yes. Yeah. So we've got the, oh, the cauldron with the fire, we've got the gingerbread house with the... Uh, oh, you yeah. can't see it in the, in the daytime, we've got like, some lights in the windows. To oh, brilliant! Make it look, look a little bit brighter yeah. at night. The money that we raise from the Scarecrow Trail is um, spent on our memory boxes. Um, we've done, we've, we've spent it on various different things over the years, so one year for instance we supplied um, many of the schools in the valley with bereavement booklets for children that had a bereavement and this year we're raising funds for emergency grants for families that have lost a child so you know I can't imagine anything worse than losing a child and coming home and not being able to afford to put your heating on. Jackie, <laughs> tell me what you're doing. <laughs> 
to wonder myself. It raises the spirits. You only have to say to someone, look, the money is going to go to support kids who've been bereaved. And they go, all oh, right, I'm in, you yes. know, immediately. Yeah. So it's a lovely thing to do. And it's lovely for families to go around at half term, maybe, and look at all the things and and talk about, you know, children who sometimes die and mm -hmm. children who are left afterwards. And sure. Those are themes that kids need to know about, sadly. You know, life is mm. like that, isn't it? But um, but within a kind of framework of, of a, something that's fun to do. And also celebrating literature and ideas yeah. and stories. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is Harvey Bear. Um, and the children have the option of having a bear with their memory box and um, he has a little hidden pouch in the back um, of which you can put many things in there um, and you know sometimes when you've lost someone and you're, you're going away you're visiting somebody it's just something for the children to take with them and they may have a pajama top or a toy in the back and they just feel that they've got a part of of that person it's a real with physical them. thing. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But the main the main focus of the charity is the memory boxes. Quite often when you lose a child in um, hospitals and hospices, they make memory boxes. They're very they're a very important part of bereavement um, support. However, they do tend to be cardboard, um, which you know, after six months of opening and closing, they, they deteriorate. So our, our memory boxes are wooden. And the children completely design these memory boxes themselves using their own photographs. Um, and this is often done in a hospital or hospice setting. And they can talk about why they've chosen that photo, what they remember from that day, happy thoughts, sad thoughts. And um, that's theirs for life. We've supplied almost 500 memory boxes across the UK. So we work with Great Ormond Street Hospital, um, you know, hospitals and hospices up and down the country. I'm Mark, I, uh, I've got a salon of Chimagna, I've been cutting hair, uh, and yeah, by, uh, I don't But you're also a scarecrow maker! I am this week, apparently, I've made a Harry Potter one. Show me! Come and see! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey! <laughs> this is for Harry Potter. Why um, has he got a beard? Because that's the only thing I can find in a cellar. <laughs> So it looks is, like a mixture of. Is it, like a, it looks like something out of uh, Captain Scarlet. That's it, what it looks yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, brilliant though. Harry Potter Excellent. University. And these the, days. How, how, where did you get the Hogwarts thing from? Uh, I got all of this online, but I, I made a mistake. It's meant to be on the inside, but it's oh, okay. a little weather outside. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Harry Potter scarecrow. So you've been planning this for a little while? I've had it all, all warded for a few weeks now, yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Well done. Thank you Do very you get much. a prize for the best one? I don't know. I don't know. It's all about taking pies. It, it is. So, yeah. It is. Money raising for a good cause. It is, indeed. Well done, Mark. Thank you. Thanks a lot. There are over 70 scarecrows this year. And here are some of them. Starting with number one.
Thank you.